Uh, this is chapter one on database systems, fundamental of database systems. This chapter covers introduction, general introduction about database and database users. There is a lot of uh, different concepts that we are going to explain in this uh, chapter. Uh, we're going to have uh, an introduction, then we'll provide an example, a university uh, or a college example for database uh, relations and we're gonna uh, cover characteristics of database approach then we'll talk about what we call actors on the scene and workers behind the scene then we will shed lights on advantage of using database management systems approach and then we will uh, go briefly over a history of a database applications and also we will uh, explain situations when database management systems are not uh, needed or are not um, a, a requirement. Um, first, let us uh, introduce the concept database. The database and database technology have a major impact on growing uh, use of uh, computers so it is really fair to say that database play a critical role in almost all areas where computers are used like business um, electronics commerce engineering medicine uh, law education library science so the word database uh, is commonly used that we must begin by defining what a database is and uh, the uh, the general uh, usage of this uh, of this term there is some traditional uh, database applications that store text or numeric information and then there is some also multimedia database that store images audio video uh, video streams uh, digitally uh, on files uh, also there is uh, Another category of database where the, they store uh, like maps and weather data and satellite images. These are huge data, uh, geographic information system or GIS. Um, and also there is a data warehouse and online analytical processing systems. This uh, is responsible for extracting and using, uh, you know, data to uh, be analyzed to be used in business uh, and this is actually for very large database uh, uh, applications that support decision making and uh, uh, processing of uh, transactions also another category of database we call it real time and active database technology which uh, used for uh, industrial and manufacturing processes and especially in the business of uh, producing devices and uh, the business manufacturing of uh, of uh, cars airplanes and uh, uh, the most advanced uh, technological advancement that database is used on again um, as an introduction to database uh, what is a database simple meaning is a collection of related data it is a collection of related data by data we mean known facts that can be recorded and that have implicit meaning for example names telephone numbers addresses of people you know you might have uh, uh, recorded this data in uh, you know just a file like index address book or you may have stored it on a hard drive using personal computer and software such as Microsoft Access or Excel or something like that so it is all collection of related data with an implicit meaning this is what a database is uh, we also call it mini world what is mini world mini world means uh, it is a universe of discourse which that means it is a small uh, uh, entity uh, that uh, anything that describes this entity 
uh, stored in this entity is called uh, a database. So a database represents some aspects of a real world, a small world. And uh, database is actually a logically coherent collection of data with some uh, inherent meanings. That means uh, known meanings, a meaning that makes sense, make uh, logic. Uh, and uh, database uh, uh, items can can be correctly referred to in the database and located and modified and uh, a database is actually designed and built and populated with data for a purpose for a specific purpose so it has an intended group of users and some uh, preconceived applications in which these uh, users are interested to use so every uh, database is uh, created for 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 a purpose uh, for, for uh, some some type of need um, like for example um, a huge database that uh, on on online like uh, Amazon uh, Amazon.com for example this is uh, uh, an example of uh, uh, of a huge database that can be used and can be uh, which can store like millions of books CDs videos DVDs games electronics lot of different things so it can it can be uh, up to uh, terabytes or uh, uh, hexabytes so it is a huge database that is stored uh, on the cloud um, a database may be generated and maintained manually or it might be computerized for example um, uh, the database that uh, uh, process uh, some sort of uh, uh, applications like uh, library card catalog for example that may be created and maintained manually but a computerized database may be created and maintained either by group of application programs written for that task or by database management systems like access or Oracle or any other uh, database so what is a database management system a database management system is a collection of programs that enable users to create and maintain a database so the database system is a general purpose software system that facilitates uh, the process of defining uh, constructing and manipulating and also sharing these database uh, among various users and applications uh, also uh, we look at this database as uh, uh, when you create this database you have to define a database in terms of a specific uh, uh, structures like data types and data constraints uh, to be stored in the database itself and also in terms of its uh, catalog or dictionary what is called metadata and constructing uh, the database means involve also storing information about the database itself which is called uh, we call it uh, uh, metadata or or uh, data dictionary or database catalog and also uh, database involve manipulating the database itself like the query uh, creation and update of these uh, queries so manipulating a database include functions such as retrieving a specific uh, piece of data update this data and this uh, change must be reflected on the database itself one of the characteristics of this uh, database management system is sharing and sharing a database will allow multiple users uh, 
and programs to access the database at the same time and use it also uh, part of the uh, characteristics of database management systems is they have an application program that access the database by sending queries or request for data to the database management system what is a query a query is actually um, causes some data to be retrieved uh, a transaction may cause some data to be uh, read and some data to be written into the database so a query is retrieval of data transaction is uh, uh, some sort of uh, reading and and saving or writing some uh, data uh, from one location to another protecting the database also includes uh, security uh, protection and system uh, protection so protection uh, again is hardware for example we call it uh, system protection hardware or software uh, malfunction or crashes security protection again is unauthorized or malicious success a typical large database may have a, a live cycle of, of many users so database management system must be able to maintain the database system by allowing the system to evolve uh, as requirements change over the time um, so maintenance means uh, be able to uh, to, to change uh, or modify whatever uh, being uh, you know uh, required to to modify uh, an example example of a database like the the university example so if we consider a simple example that most uh, readers might be familiar with or most uh, students might be familiar with a university database for maintaining information cons uh, like concerning students courses grades in this environment so we can show database structure of uh, some uh, such data so it is can be organized as uh, files or uh, records we call them uh, later tables like data records that uh, uh, information of students are stored in a student table and, and information about course courses are stored in a course table and so on so uh, these uh, uh, tables each uh, table has its own characteristics and its own uh, uh, values and there should be some sort of uh, the relationship between them and each one of these tables uh, can have uh, what sort of uh, data type like uh, each uh, table has uh, a group of characteristics we call them attributes and each attribute has its own uh, data type data type means uh, type of data or uh, what kind of data we use for uh, a student name what type of data we use for a student uh, uh, numeric grade what type of data we use for uh, student uh, uh, alphabetic uh, grade like uh, A or B or C or what type of data we use for uh, course code is it integer character uh, or alphanumeric or date or something like that so we have to specify the structure of, uh, of these data types or uh, in during data creation um, this is a simplified database system environment where you can see a database system composed of the data uh, base which can be divided into both store database and the store database definition we call it metadata and the database management system software itself which include a software to process queries and programs and a software to access stored data itself 
and the application programs uh, are written on top of these database management system so that they can access the database through the database management system software so this is a simplified uh, system environment where uh, it shows the relationship between users those users or programmers who access who use these application programs uh, to uh, process queries programs uh, or access the database uh, for uh, purpose of retrieval or maintenance um, we can also uh, uh, look at uh, this uh, example in terms of uh, the data that represent uh, each one of these entities like store data to represent uh, student course section grade and so on and we have to also think about the relationship among these records what is the relationship between an instructor and a student between a student and a course between a course and a section and so on so we have to actually maintain this kind of relationship among these records and also if we have some sort of uh, manipulation or change uh, can be uh, executed within these records that can be done also uh, in this uh, uh, regard also one of the examples for database uh, uh, applications that can be uh, part of database management system is the query builder uh, that extract some sort of uh, queries from database some examples of queries could be retrieval of, tra of transcript for example if we look at this uh, university example or list of names of students who took the section a uh, specific section in a specific year or list of prerequisite uh, uh, courses for a specific course this could be an example of some uh, queries that can be can be uh, extracted uh, a list of uh, examples for updates could be to change something changing for example a class of a specific student from one level to another or creating a new section for a specific course or entering a specific grade for a specific student in a specific course all this could be considered as uh, part of uh, updates um, we have to also um, consider the faces faces or the the um, what we call uh, uh, the steps or the cycles uh, where you can go uh, over in this in uh, designing uh, a database uh, a database designing or designing of a database needs to go through these four uh, phases which is uh, requirements phase conceptual design phase logical design and physical design so uh, this uh, this this example here represent a database that stores student and course information where you can see uh, some example of data test data for a student and uh, when you see this uh, example you look at uh, this uh, text here is the name of the table student course section grade report or prerequisites for example each one of these tables has a group of uh, attributes like name student number class and major and each one of these attributes has a value which is inside here uh, the verticals this so we call them attributes or columns in database context and the horizontal we call them records or rows in database uh, context so this is uh, uh, some view of the database storage uh, that is used in this example um, 
let us now talk about the characteristics of database approach uh, of course database approach they have uh, the first traditional file processing which each user defines and implements the files needed for a specific software application and we have the database approach which is a single container that maintain database which is uh, defined once and then accessed by many uh, by many users uh, the main characteristic of database approach we can summarize them in the following a database approach could be a self-describing nature of database system also uh, the separation and simulation between programs and data that means the b b distinction between between programs and data and data abstraction also support multiple views of data and sharing of the data also one of the uh, database uh, approach uh, characteristics sharing of data and multi-user transaction processing and uh, we can actually uh, explain a little bit for each one of these uh, um, self-describing nature of a database system this is a fundamental characteristic of a database approach which is uh, the database system uh, contains not only the database itself but also complete definition of description of the database structure and constraints as well so this definition uh, is stored in a database system catalog which contain information such as the structure of the files or the tables and their format the data type and various constraints of the database as well it's called metadata or database catalog so the this catalog is used by the database management system software and also it is used by database users who need information about the database structure so this uh, database uh, management system software must uh, work equally with all number of database applications so uh, and this structure it is all stored in what is called metadata which is describing the database itself or describe how the database is stored or describe the constraints or describe the business rules everything is uh, recorded there it's called metadata uh, and insulation uh, between uh, let me um, go over this uh, one by one so here for example we talk about insulation between uh, insulation between programs and data and data uh, abstraction in traditional file processing the structure of data file is embedded in the application program so any change to the structure of a file may require changing all programs that access that file so uh, in, but in the database management system database management system access programs do not require such a change in most cases so the structure of data files is stored in database management system catalog separately from the data uh, from the access program so this is we call it program data independence uh, so the data is stored in a different uh, location and programs uh, in a different uh, location so that if we change uh, if we would like to change the data we don't touch the programs and um, also uh, another characteristic of the database approach is support of multiple views of, of uh, the data a database typically has many users each of whom may require different uh, perspective or view of the database so a view may be a subset of the database or it may be a virtual data that is derived from the database itself 
but is not explicitly stored. Some users may not need to be aware of whether the data they refer to is stored or derived. So a multi-user database management system whose users have a variety of distinct applications must provide some sort of facilities to define such multiple views. So for example, one user of the database may be interested only in accessing and printing the transcript of each student. The view of the user uh, can be uh, expressed. Another user who is interested only in checking that student have taken all prerequisite in a specific course or not, and so on. Uh, sharing the data and multi-user uh, transaction processing. A multi-user uh, database management system uh, must allow multiple users to access the database at the same time. So this is very important if uh, data for multiple application is to be integrated and maintained in a single database. So the database management system must include some sort of what we call concurrency control software to ensure that several users trying to update the same data do so in a controlled manner so that the result of the updates is correct. So for example, when uh, several uh, reservation agent try to assign a seat on aeroplane flight, for example, the database management system should ensure that each seat can be accessed by only one agent at a time for assignment to this passenger. Uh, these types of application are generally called online transaction processing, which is OLTP application. Very fundamental, uh, you know, characteristic of database management system. Uh, So we went over describing the initial database uh, system. We call it contained definition metadata and also explained the independence of this. We did also explain how the, uh, you know, the uh, database uh, will allow program independence uh, and uh, how the database users each one is perceiving the data into in his own uh, context so this is just uh, an example of a database catalog the uh, metadata that we did talk about uh, earlier and uh, here when we talk about support of multiple views of database we said some uh, people have specific interest in subset and some of them they have uh, interest of a specific uh, part of the database that is not explicitly stored in the database so sometimes also we need to use uh, data for purposes that is uh, not specifically required at uh, that specific moment it could be needed in future or uh, supporting some application like triggers and so on. Uh, we did also talk about the sharing of the you know data uh, to allow multiple users to access the database at the same time, the concurrency control software, and what we call uh, also uh, online transaction processing control. And uh, we call this. Uh, uh, sharing the data is the most important characteristic of database management system. It's very central to many database applications and uh, it can include one database or multiple databases. Uh, each transaction uh, could be or should be executed uh, you know, in isolation from the other so that there is no confusion or conflicts that might uh, might occur. Um, actors on the scene. Who are actors on the scene? Who are actors on the scene? Actors on the scene uh, a small uh, group of database users called database administrators 
and also database designers. Database administrators, we call them DBAs, were responsible for uh, authorizing access to the database and also uh, coordinating and monitoring the use of the database and also acquiring software and hardware and installing them and configuring them. Uh, so in large organization, many people are involved in also designing the database. So they identify the data to be stored and choose some sort of structure to represent such uh, stored, uh, stored data. Actors on the scene involve end users and end users are people who, whose jobs require some access to the database. We have uh, many different uh, uh, end users and these uh, end users could be casual, uh, casual end users, those who are occasionally access the database but they may need different uh, information each time they use sophisticated database query language like SQL to specify their request and typically uh, mid or high level managers or other occasional browsers of the database. Naive or parametric users, this they make up a sizable portion of a database uh, end users. Their main job involve around uh, like constantly uh, querying and updating the database using some standard of queries like uh, some uh, what is called CAN transaction that they have carefully programmed and tested. So these uh, like bank tellers for example or reservation agents of the airplanes or hotels or car rentals all these can be ca categorized as naive or uh, parametric end users. Also we have uh, sophisticated and users which include the engineers, scientists, business analysts who uh, thoroughly familiarize themselves with the facilities of the database management system in order to implement their own application to meet these complex requirements. And also the stand alone users, those maintain personal database by using uh, ready-made program packages that provide easy to use menus based or graphic user interface like user of tax package that store variety of different personal inf financial information for tax purposes. So a typical database management system provide multiple facilities to access a database. These naive and uh, end users need to learn very little about the facilities provided by the database management system. So they simply have to understand the use interface of the standard transaction designed and implemented but sophisticated users will try to learn most of the database facilities in order to achieve their complex requirement. And standalone users typically become very prof proficient in using a specific software package and, and so on. <coughs> System analysts, this will determine the requirements of the uh, of the end users. So they will actually try to find out the the need or the, requ the requirements of the end users. The application programmers, they implement these uh, uh, specification as programs and put them into use. Workers behind the scene, workers behind the scene include database system designers and implementers who design and implement the modules and interface as a software package and also include tool developers who, who assign design and implement these tools into database management system. Workers behind the scene also include operators and maintenance personnel, those who are responsible for actually executing or running and man maintaining the hardware and software environment for the database management system to be function. Uh, we have some advantage of using database uh, approach. So the, there is a lot of advantage of using database approach. So in database uh, management system, uh, or good database management system should process 
a lot of different facilities or capabilities. These capabilities, uh, in addition to these characteristics, uh, must uh, be uh, seen as the main advantage of the database management system approach. So the database administrator must utilize these capabilities to accomplish uh, different objectives related to design, administration, and use of uh, large multi-user database. Uh, controlling redundancy is one of these advantages. So in traditional software development, uh, utilizing file processing, every user group maintains its own file for handling its data processing application. For example, in the university database example, uh, uh, if there is two groups of users, might be uh, the course registration personnel and the uh, accounting, accounting office, for example. In the traditional approach, each group independently keep file of students. The accounting office keeps data on registration and related billing information, whereas the registration office keep track of student courses and grades. Other groups may further duplicate some of or all of this same data to their own use. So there is some sort of redundancy. This redundancy in storing the same data uh, multiple times lead to some uh, uh, problems. The, for example, there, there, there is a need to perform single logical update such as entering data on a new student. So you need to do this multiple times in every file. But this is disadvantage, of course, of the, of the traditional file system. But in a database management system, data redundancy is controlled through what we call normalization, as we will learn in the next chapters. Also, one of the advantage of the uh, of this um, database uh, management system is restricting unauthorized access. Restricting unauthorized access means uh, when multiple users share a large database, it is likely that most users will not be uh, authorized to access all information in the database. For example, financial data is often considered very confidential and only authorized personnel are allowed to access this data. And some users may only be permitted to retrieve the data and so on. So some people are given privilege different from others. Uh, another advantage of using a database approach is providing persistent storage of uh, program, uh, program objects. Any yani, uh, database can be used to provide what is called persistent storage of data. This uh, this is one of the main reason of object-oriented database system. Uh, programming language typically have complex data structures such as record types in some languages like C++ or Java. So the values of program variables uh, or objects are discarded once a program terminates unless the programmer explicitly store them in a permanent file uh, which uh, involve converting this complex structure into a format suitable for file processing and file storage so if the need arises to read such data the programmer must convert from a file format to program variable or object structure so some persistent data uh, this is uh, means uh, means survival of uh, the, the the data after the termination of the program later so if the program is terminated the data exist uh, also uh, traditional database system often suffers from what is so-called uh, impedance mismatch problem. Since the data structures provided by the database management system were incompatible with the programming language data structures, so object-oriented uh, database system uh, typically offer data structure compatibility 
with one or more object-oriented programming language for this data to be compatible and uh, useful. Uh, providing story structure and search uh, techniques for efficient query processing. We can use index indexes, same like in the book when I said uh, you can look for specific words or sentence uh, or uh, keywords uh, uh, or concepts by looking at the end of the book in the indexes by letters from A to Z and then you will find why this is being mentioned in the book in which page in which line so it is so easy to find the information instead of scanning the entire book this is also uh, can happen in the database by using indexes we can have such search technique be efficient and more quick and also we can use what's called uh, you know uh, buffering or caching that maintains part of the database in main memory buffer in general the operating system is responsible for uh, the operating system is actually responsible uh, for this kind of buffering however because data buffering is very crucial important to database management system performance most database management system do their own data buffering as well uh, also um, one of the database uh, advantage database management system advantage Uh, to provide uh, back and recovery back and recovery subsystem of database is responsible for uh, for recovery a database management system must provide such facility for recovering from database uh, from hardware or software failures so the backup and recovery subsystem is uh, responsible for this for example if the computer system fails in in the middle of a complex update transaction the recovery subsystem is responsible for making sure that the database is, is restored to the state it was before the transaction started executing. Uh, alternatively, the, the recovery subsystem could ensure that the transaction is resumed from the point at which it was interrupted so that uh, its full effect is uh, recorded in the database. So. Uh, simply whether everything the complete or nothing is complete so that it doesn't actually create some sort of uh, interruption or inconsistency specifically in banking banking transaction for example uh, providing multi-user interface is another advantage of using database approach because many types of users uh, with different level of technical knowledge use the database so a database management system should provide a variety of uh, of user interface this include query language casual users for casual users or programming language interface for application programmers forms and command codes for parametric users and menu dri driven uh, menu driven interface and natural language interface for standalone users all this type should be provided for users uh, so this uh, might include different varieties of, of uh, that 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 has uh, uh, interrelated in many ways for for users uh, also uh, another ad advantage of using database uh, manage system is enforcing integrity constraints enforcing integrity constraints uh, most uh, database application have certain integrity constraint that must hold or uh, must be uh, available for the data database management system should provide some capabilities to define and enforce uh, such uh, constraints the simplest type of integrity constraint involve uh, specifying a data type for each data item. Yani, for example, we can specify that a value of uh, a specific class uh, data item within a student record must be a one-digit integer, and that 
the value of name must be a string of no more than 30 alphabetic characters. To restrict uh, this uh, uh, value between 1 and 5, for example, uh, uh, capacity for specific uh, section or uh, a, ma a maximum capacity of a section could be 27 students, something like that. So uh, some constraints must be shown and uh, must be implemented if to be uh, used in the database. Such constraint is considered to be advantage of the database. Uh, also key or uniqueness constraints. So that means uh, every record must have a unique identifier to uniquely uh, identify or uh, uh, show or uh, point to the, to the whole record. This is called primary keys. We will, we will, uh, we will talk about it in the next chapters. Uh, a key or a uniqueness constraint. That means uh, each uh, entity must be uniquely identified by a specific uh, value. Like for example, a book can be uniquely identified by I its ISPN number. A computer by its IP number, IP address, or by its. Uh, serial number, a car by vehicle identification number, a student by student ID number, an employer by employer, uh, by empl an employee by employee number, uh, and so on. So these, uh, uh, every, every course, for example, must have a course code that cannot be repeated for another course, and so on. We call it uniqueness constraint. Also, some uh, constraint can be, cannot be expressed in the in the application itself uh, in the design but can be expressed as business rules for example uh, an employee an employee cannot uh, cannot receive more than uh, 15,000 reals in a month that is a business rule or in the college example a student uh, might not take more than uh, five courses uh, and so on. So these are some rules that can be implemented in the database system. Inherent rules for uh, data model. So uh, this uh, can be explained in what we call entity relationship diagram which involve more than one uh, one entity in the data model so such kind of uh, diagram shows the relationship between entities uh, which uh, you know uh, satisfy some sort of integrity between between uh, between uh, some sort of relationship between entities uh, so to avoid some sort of uh, redundancy or error. Uh, this entity relationship diagram model in uh, chapter 7 will be shown to uh, to explain these uh, rules, the data model and how these uh, uh, entities are related together and uh, how we can use some rules uh, and separate them in kind of uh, constraints as well to build such kind of relationships. Uh, advantage of using database systems also we can say additional uh, implication of using database approach we can have uh, reduced application development time if we have database management system, we can have flexible applications, we can have up-to-date information, we can have uh, cheap uh, you know, transactions, uh, we can restore or we can uh, save a lot of organization cost by implementing database management system. Uh, by having uh, a lot of transactions done by applications instead of uh, manually by a number of employees. And uh, we can here talk about the brief history of database application. 
when started with early database application using hierarchical and network system in which large numbers of records uh, of similar structure are recorded and it has a lot of different disadvantages as uh, we explained briefly before like uh, the redundancy of data and also uh, uh, inconsistency of data and inaccuracy of data uh, uh, and then we have uh, this uh, uh, data abstraction uh, with relational database which separate physical storage of data from its uh, conceptual representation in programs and provide mathematical foundation for data representation and querying which is uh, implemented or seen by this what we call database database approach uh, then we have object oriented applications and the need for more complex database uh, I mentioned that database uh, object oriented database applications is more recent sophisticated and used in specialized application like engineering design multimedia publishing and manufacturing systems it's a little bit of uh, advanced complex costly uh, that's why most people are not uh, shifting the database uh, into object oriented instead they're keeping it as relational to avoid such kind of complications or cost cost of training programmers and database administrators and so on uh, interchanging data on a web for commerce using XML XML which is uh, extended markup language this is uh, uh, a language or an application that used to store database on the web and uh, most recent uh, social websites social networking websites are using XML to store huge uh, data like in YouTube for example or Facebook uh, uh, using this kind of uh, XML uh, standard for keeping their records uh, for uh, database approach uh, also we can have extending capabilities for new applications uh, for pet support some requirements advanced requirements that uh, appears through the time so new applications need to have database management system so that they can uh, satisfy the most complex requirements of uh, advanced users enterprise resource planning also for huge uh, huge organization customer relationship management uh, also this is another type of uh, database uh, that people use in uh, some uh, large organization uh, the database uh, versus information retrieval so uh, what is the information retrieval the information retrieval uh, refers to the to the uh, retrieval of uh, of data f from uh, multi related database systems uh, like for example it deals with books manuscripts various terms of library based uh, based articles that that uh, people uh, use in database systems here and the last thing we'd like to talk about is when not to use database so sometimes if uh, the application is simple uh, and not expected to change at all then there is no need for uh, database management system because it's going to be just costly uh, also if the real requirement that may not be made because database overhead database overhead means the cost of database management system is more than the cost of uh, or the benefit of using it also in some embedded systems with limited storage cap capacity then there is no need to use database system for example in iPhones I mean in the smartphones 
there is no need to use database management system because these are embedded system with some specific uh, operating system like Android or ISO, uh, iOS. So there is no need to to keep uh, the text or the videos or the pictures in a, in a database system. It can be stored just in uh, memory or something. So there is no need to use database system. Also, uh, if there is no multiple users to access the data, then there is no need for this database management system to be used. So this is all what we have covered, database introduction about it, database management systems, and several categories of database systems, and also different applications that have evolved through the time uh, in database uh, management system in general.